Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I saw it up on the shelf and I was like, I gotta do it. Okay, let's get to the real knife that we're here for. <laughs> this is the Kubi Raven KB245. I just took it out of the box and would you look at it? Just look at it. There's six or seven different colors of this bad boy. You know what? We're gonna go all the way around, check it out. Check out the action, the ergos, in and out of the pocket, the fit, the finish, and then we're gonna take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside and just see how smooth it is. So it has a pretty good looking design, very, uh, I don't know, very different. It looks indicative of a designer. We'll figure that out here in just a second. Look at this, right off the bat, yes, deep carry pocket clip. That's what I'm talking about, baby. No mushrooms growing in the shade. Yeah, flat screws, major plus, and another major plus. Ooh, oh, look at that, T8s. We have T8 body screws. Yeah, and what's in there? T6 for the clip, but T8 body and T, that looks like a T8 too. T8 pivot screws, major plus. We'll see if we're going to be able to use this for any kind of purpose whatsoever. Ooh, they have the nice logo. <laughs> it looks stonewashed too. I just noticed that. And you know what? Here's some texture vision. Can I show you some texture? You know what? I'll use my new little light here. Let's do it this way. Oh, there you go. How's that feel? That feels really good. It's right there in the medium range. Gives you good grip, but it's not aggressive. It's just right. It's like the Goldilocks. All right, now let's check out this blade. Pow, right in the kisser. Ooh, oh yeah, nice. I, you know what? That's not too shabby. I like it. Like me some stone wash. Let me give you a look at this side. There's this side. Ooh, yeah, look at that big old swedge. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay, all right, all right, I'm digging it. I'm I'm getting more into other designs and different designs, keeping an open mind. Let's start with one end and go down to the other. Nice looking stone wash, how about that grind? Grind's not too shabby, looks pretty even. It's a little, a little thin down here and kind of widens as you go up. Not too bad, nice looking stone wash. Yeah, but gee, um, I don't know who makes this knife, I just can't seem to figure it out, I don't know. Nice KB, nice and clean, black black with the, uh, what do you call this, the OG, uh, <laughs> the, uh, what do you call that, the JG10, and you know, I just can't seem to figure out who the maker and design, who the designer of this knife is, it's, you know, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I, I like this design, Jelly Jerry, obviously, this is Austin, Austin Steel, <laughs> is that why I was thinking that earlier, <laughs> but there's that look, let's take a look at the top here. Do we have jimp? Oh, what kind of jimping we have? Oh, yeah. Winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Nice jimping. Yes. That we'll check that out here. Oh, oh, look at that. A sharpening choil. What? What? We actually have, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sharpening choil. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. We're going to check this out. Have some jimpage going on right there. And what kind of backspacer? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. There you go. This is how I like it. If you're going to have a lanyard hole, have have a post it back here. You have a G10 backspacer, and you can still have your lanyard, but it keeps the aesthetics clean. Very nice. What kind of fit we working with? Left to right, absolutely solid. Up and down, nothing at all. And let's see. We are locked up at about halfway, so we're good with that. It's absolutely solid. You can see your stop pin right there. And are we centered? Oh, yeah, we're centered. Will she cut paper right out of the box? Oh yeah, listen how clean. Ooh. Oh wow. Yes. Oh man, it is it is very, I mean, you can tell it is it is very clean. That is my kind of grind right there. And how is she in and out of the pocket? Not too shabby. It's not grabbing, it's doing just what it's supposed to. Very nice, very, very nice. Nice and clean. I like that. You know, I wouldn't mind if it was inset. And, eh, you know, I could take it or leave it. As long as I have plenty of room for my pockets to go in and out, I'm happy. Now, the total length of this knife is 8.31 inches. You have a nice drop point blade with Aus 10 steel and a black stone wash. Your total blade length from the scale to the tip is 3.52 inches. Your sharpened length is 3.44 inches. Your blade width, 
0.94 inches. Your blade stock is 124 thousandths of an inch. Behind the edge, we're 20 thousandths of an inch. You have a really nice G10 with very nice texture, and there's many colors that you can get in your clothes length from tip to tip. It's 4.64 inches. Your handle width, 0.69 inches. Clothes width, 1.11 inches. Handle thickness, 0.53 inches. It's a flipper. We'll see if this is going to do anything. It has cage bearings. We'll see what kind they are here in a minute because we're going to take it apart. It's a liner lock, and it has a reversible deep carry pocket clip. T8 body screws and pivot. T6 is for the clip. And your designer is Jelly Jerry. This is the Kubi Raven KB245. Now, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, I hope it improves. I'm sending positive vibes your way. So, uh, you know what? How heavy is this? Uh, I think it's past the three and a half. I'm going to go with three and three quarters. Let's go with 3.75. And it is 3.64 ounces. Pretty close, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take it. I almost forgot to mention the price. Now, I just got done looking it up. There's one version that was around 55, 56 bucks, and the other ones were around 70. So it probably depends. I will definitely find and put links in the description for this. All my discount codes, affiliate links, all kinds of stuff is in the description of each video. You hit the little V shape and then it'll say, see more. Hit see more. <laughs> I mean, don't hit see more, but hit see more. <laughs> all right, let's try. <laughs> okay, slow down. Uh, here's the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2 for some size comparisons and, of course, the QSP Penguin. I tell everyone, you got to get a Penguin. You know, if, if not for any other reason, you'll know the size of the knife I'm showing you because you'll have a Penguin. And let's show you a couple more. Here's the Spyderco Tenacious, all dressed up in purple. And the, I was going to say Spyderco. It's the Ontario Rat number one. So we're getting to narrow down. It's it, it looks like a longer knife till I put a couple big ones up. But I have a couple more I think might be close. Here's the Sativian ST102. Okay. All right. All right. And you could get one of these in this color scheme too. I believe it has a satin finish. So now we're right there in the territory. How about the CJRB Feldspar? <laughs> <laughs> the Feld Spa. And you, there's a button There's a button lock version of this, too. I'm not sure if it's available right now. I think it's sold out pretty quick. And let's do two more. Here's one of my favorite slender carries, the Civivi Imperium. Got a little bit of jade action going today. And last but not least, the Sincut Brazoria. This is the one that I kind of thought the blade would look like. Eh, you know, if this was scrunched down just a little bit, it'd be pretty close. But if you have one of those, now you know the size of this knife. All right, let's check out the action in the ergos. And if you enjoy my content, show me that you care. <laughs> I'm feeling really goofy today. I got to tone it down. Not. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If not, give me a thumbs down or a thumb sideways or wherever you want to put your thumb. All right, uh, let's do the push button. What's it going to do? Snap. Pow. Right in the kisser. How about the light switch? Yes. So the detent. How's the detent? Pretty good. I didn't push very hard. That was pushing very lightly. So it has a good detent. Pops it right out there. How about left-handed? What's it feel like left-handed? Because you're going to be able to use this left-handed and carry it. I'm very excited that it has a reversible pocket clip. This is one of the knives I'll be able to carry in my left pocket if I want to. Very comfortable. Your pass-through works very well. With the left hand, the, the pass-through is very nice, very grabby. Um, for me personally, it's easier to, to close with the left hand than the right. Both are easy. I don't have to dig my finger. There's not a ton. There's not a ton of room in there, but I'm not having to dig. So the little bit of jimping in here is working just fine. I'm not having any issues with that. Now, can I reverse flick this thing? Oh, oh my gosh. I did not think with that little thumb hole that, that I was going to be able, I, I, I am dumbfounded. I thought there was no way. My hope was that I could thumb flip it with, with that's what I was planning. Oh, okay. All right. So we just opened up a whole new horizon. We have the top flip and we can open it with our thumb like a traditional thumb stud without the thumb stud. And this reverse flick is easy. I mean, it's not even difficult. I'm not having to cram my finger in there or anything. They extended this just a little bit on both sides and your finger just goes right into place. Oh, very nice. Now, can we slow roll it? Yes, we got. Okay, we have multiple deployments. All you fidget fidgeters, if you're like me and you like to fidget with your knife as much as you like to cut with it, you're good to go. Now, let's see how this, let's see how the, all right, so I do have to give it a little bit of gravity. Almost two shakes. Let's see. Yeah, just a slight shake and you're good to go. But we'll see what happens after we take it apart. Now, as far as ergos, 
If you're a bees blader, you already know. My hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger. Seven and a quarter. Let's see what it feels like. Oh, okay, all right. So, see this spot right here? That's kind of, kind of like whoop, 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 a little bit of divot. Thumb falls right, right on it. That's a nice little landing pad. And, oh yeah, <laughs> there's, there's the sweet spot right there. Excellent jimping. Let me give you a look at this. That is the perfect. It grabs the skin. It's not overly aggressive. It's not under. It's Goldilocks. It's Goldilocks jimping, baby. Yes. So in the classic grip, very comfortable. I will say I'm getting a little, not hot spotty, but we're warm. We're warm on the pocket clip. I'm definitely feeling the pocket clip in the palm. Yeah, it, it's warm. It's warm. So that feels good. Reverse grip. Reverse grip feels even better because then the pocket clip is in my fingers, locked in. So you're locked in if you want to, like, open a bag of soil and really get in it to win it. Uh, the tip, yep, the tip goes right down. You're going to be able to do, 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 do. <laughs> you're going to be able to do utility cuts. You're good to go. So look at that. Look, look how streamlined it is. I like that. That's pretty nice. And right, right there where I set the butt in my hand, okay, watch your comments. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfortable. I'm not getting any hot spots there. So the only the only thing I'm getting is a little bit of warmth from the pocket clip. Let's take this apart and I'll give you some final th thoughts and a couple things I noticed. All right, let's deconstruct this bad boy. I have it nice and bright and up close so you can see all the details. Hopefully it works out for you. You know what? I got to say, this thing is freaking awesome. I'm not going to go through my whole thing where I tell you about everything I use. If you want to know what I use to do my disassemblies, you can go in the description of the video. I have everything listed in there. Nice and clear to see. Making sure I do have the right ones here. <laughs> a T8 and a T6. Don't forget, if you're new, Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. Come and hang out with us on Friday nights from 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're going to have fun. It's guaranteed you will have fun. And you'll get to hang out with the nice community because we are a bunch of nice people. You will find everyone is like-minded and we don't gripe, we don't do politics, and my live stream is uh, family friendly. A lot of people watch with their kids around, um, so that's something that I've heard people appreciate. It's not because I'm a, I'm a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not a saint or anything, I just choose to do my live screen streams family friendly. And boy, that one's tough. Oh my goodness. Give me a little resistance, a little bit of resistance. All right, so there's your pocket clip. Got that out. I'm just going to leave those two bad boys in there. So there you go. Look at that. Nice and clean. Boy, we're a little extra bright today. You know what? I think I might just tone that down a notch. There we go. That's a little more respectable. So here's the inside. Nice and clean. Simple just simple construction. A little bit of milling going on right there. So we're going to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Popped right off, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, don't be focusing on the purdy stuff. There we go. This is the purdy stuff. So there's your liner. I'm going to clean it off. I mean, not that it's dirty. It's... Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I saw that ceramic ball bearings. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just going to wipe it off. I have some alcohol on this rag. Use alcohol because it'll clean up, clean up all the stuff and it will dry fast. And you can see that our bearings are facing outwards towards the scales, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Are you going to come out of there? Get out of there. And I'm just going to clean it off a little bit. But I, this past live stream was a lot of fun. And I love all the subjects we talk about. And we were it was really, it was a chill live stream. I enjoyed it. The giveaways are fun. I do giveaways every week. That's not why we do the live stream. But, you know, I am able to do some giveaways. So it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to do a shout out to everybody that donates to the live, to the, uh, what do you call them? To the giveaways. Folks, do something kind for someone and they have knives. Or if you, anybody that's watching right now, if you have a couple knives sitting around, you you know, just wasn't your thing, you didn't didn't really use it, you can send it to the channel. We will give it away on a Friday night at the live stream. We usually do at least a couple giveaways, sometimes three, sometimes five. It all depends on what's happening. So what kind of pivot we have here? Um, it's not a D-shaped pivot. We have the notch. See this notch right here? That is going to correspond with, which side did I just take it from? If you look right here, that notch right there. So that's how you're going to know where your pivot goes. Let's find the notch. See that notch right there, right there. It's going to go like that. 
So the G10 is what's holding it. And as long as you don't use, like if you end up putting Loctite on this, as long as you don't use uh, the wrong Loctite, you'll be good to go. So let's put a little KPL on here, a little bit of KPL action. This is, If you don't know, this is KPL, stands for Knife Pivot Lube, and I have 10% off of this stuff too. It's down there with all those other goodies in the video's description. And if you don't know how to see the stuff that I'm talking about, Feel free to email me, beesblades at gmail.com, and I'll tell you how to get to the description. A lot of folks watch on their, oh, hey, 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 a little bit of focus action. A lot of folks watch on their uh, phone and don't know, don't know that there's a whole sea of information, including every knife that's in the video. I have links to that where you can go check them out and see, see, what, we'll see what they're all about if you want to go look at them or if you want to get one, whatever. That and all my uh, discounts and all that good stuff. But I get asked a lot. So just letting you know, you can email me and I'll, I'll explain it. So this is KPL Heavy. I'm putting a drop of this in the detent hole. Can I do it light-handed without pouring it in? Can we do it without putting too much? I'm, very, I'm really concentrating right now. So I'm just going to put a drop in there. I'm not even going to bother going around because it, it, will, it will do a good job of spreading it. You know what? I can't help it. I'll just go, I'll just put some right there in the middle. <laughs> I'm kind of like that moth on the, what was it? The bug movie, a bug's life. I can't help it <laughs> here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put our stop pin back in that dude right there. Get in your home. It's your home. Get in your hole. Get in the hole. It's your home. How does it go? I love it. I love it when movie movie quotes pop out. And we, uh, we, we talk about stuff like that on the live streams too. We talk about, you know, while we're talking about knives, anything that comes up, adulting, you name it, amazing food. Some of the things that people come up with, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to try that. All right. So everything looks like it's coming back together very nicely, very, very nicely. Oh man. I like the disassembly on this one, man. Oh man. I like it a lot. All right. How are we looking here? You're looking good. Pivot in there. Everybody in there where you're supposed to be. All right, let's put our pivot screw back in. And a shout out to everybody that's driving right now. I know a lot of folks do what I do and you listen while you're driving to and from work, not watching, just listening. You can always watch later. But if you're driving right now and listening, I hope you're having a good day and I hope traffic's not too bad. <laughs> I hope you didn't cuss anyone out on the way home from work. <laughs> I know people can get really frustrating sometimes. Don't let it bother you. Take a deep breath. You'll, you'll get where you're going. Everything happens for a reason. So I'm not putting any, uh, you're going to get back in your spot. Okay. I'm not putting any Loctite on here. If it needs it later, if that's what I do, it gets some medium Loctite. There's all kinds of different brands, different types out there. I, ha I think I have these two listed. Make sure you get medium. Don't get the other kind or you will regret it because then you'll never be able to take your knife apart again without taking extra steps. All right. There we go. There to go. Where to go. There to go. So now here's one thing to note that when you put it back together, this screw is longer than this one. And that's, you know, one of the reasons I just leave it in there. That way I know I'll put the right one back in the right spot because you guys are eagle eyes and you'll catch if I do, if I make a mistake, you caught almost every single mistake I've made or some folks didn't comment. They might've caught it, but they didn't comment. All right. You go in there. This one's not tightening in. So let's, let's tighten this short one first. Would you get in your home? There we go. Now we're lined up. You hear when you hear those clicks, you know stuff's happening. You know good things are happening. All right. There we go. Nice and snug. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, is it solid? Nope. Got to tighten it up just a little bit. All right. How about now? Oh yeah. Everything's working. Oh yeah. It's it's smooth. Are we centered? Yep. We're centered. And I'm gonna see. Can we loosen it up just a hair bit? As long as it's still solid. Okay, we're still solid. Oh, yeah. All right. It, it's uh, definitely, definitely improved a lot on the smoothness, smoothness scale. Let's go back to the big screen. So did our action improve? Absolutely. Look at that droppiness. 
I mean, it, <laughs> yeah, it improved a lot. And something else to note is when you have a stone wash blade, the more you use it, the more it's going to have a little path worn through and get all that stone washy off and you're going to be good to go. So some thoughts on it. Um, I like that it has a nice grind on it. I like the stone wash. I really appreciate the fact that it's multiple deployments. You can pinch it open. You can middle finger flick it. You can thumb flick it. You can reverse, not reverse, yeah, reverse flick it. And you can use, oh, something I think I forgot to tell you. Check out the jimping. Would you look at it? Just look at it. It's perfect, perfect jimping. I like it. It's grabby. It grabs your skin. You can feel it. That's a good thing. The ergos, very nice. Nice ergos. This, this pocket clip is definitely a warm spot. I'd say about a six from one to 10, 10 being a hot spot. It's warm, definitely warm. I can feel it. I like how my hand locks into place. I like the grip on it. I really appreciate the sharpening choil, that is a major plus. Now, price point wise, the one that's about 56 bucks, that's, that's pretty good. That's in my price range. The, the other ones that are 70, to me, I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but for Aus 10, seems a little high. But then I will say that Kubi's D2 is spectacular. So I'm guessing that the heat treat on their Aus 10 is pretty darn good too. So that, that's one thing to keep in mind and to take into consideration. Everything else about it, I really like. I like the neat design. I like the looks of it. I like that big swedge. It's pretty cool looking. So I have to say, I really appreciate you, you all, and I thank you for making comments in all the videos and in the chats and in the live streams. I really appreciate you. I hope you're having a good day. And if not, I hope your day gets better. Until I see you again or talk to you in the chats, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.